Uh, good afternoon, good afternoon, good afternoon, fellow Ambazonians. Uh, it's a pleasure having you here with me uh, on the set of the War Zone right here on ABS TV. Um, I would like to start by apologizing for uh, the absence for the past couple of weeks that we were not able to bring to you this program. Uh, it's because uh, sometimes we have to travel, we have to uh, get out of uh, our station and uh, it is always not easy to bring you this program remotely. So uh, we always have to wait until we get back uh, home, then uh, we can bring to you this program. Uh, so uh, my apologies that we're not able to bring to you this program. I know Ground Zero was complaining um, and uh, wondering what had happened. And uh, there were even some rumors out there uh, that AVS had been shut down. It was nothing like that. Nothing like that happened. Uh, rest assured, um, uh, this struggle is still very much on. The ABS will be here to bring you to you all the happenings uh, within our struggle. Uh, so that said, today is, um, of course, uh, Tuesday, uh, June 18th, 2024. And uh, we are happy to be here to bring to you the highlights of our struggle uh, this day. I will have with me uh, Dr. Nguambe will be joining me. Uh, Honorable Sama Thomas will be here. And um, uh, Chairman Patrick will be joining me as well. And uh, uh, we all know there's been quite uh, a few things happening on Ground Zero. Uh, not all of it is very pleasant, but it is our responsibility to bring to you whatever stories are happening, good or bad. And that is what we are here to do. So again, I'm glad to have you here with me today. Uh, please uh, do me a favor and uh, share the link, share the link, share the link so that we can get as many of our comrades uh, watching and getting all the details that uh, we will be bringing to you. Um, now, uh, uh, details that are coming to us, uh, we are yet to verify uh, the authenticity of this information, but what we are getting is that our uh, freedom fighters in, in uh, in, um, in Bui, as usual, in Bui, I have dealt another devastating blow on the uh, invading forces of La Republic to Cameroon. That our liberation fighters of Bui, the unity warriors, that they have again dealt a serious blow. And there are reports of several casualties on the side of the enemy. That there is a report of several casualties on the part of on the side of the enemy, and we will be bringing to you those details as we we get uh, more facts about this uh, uh, em emerging story. So uh, stay tuned. We will if, if during the course of this program we are able to have those details, we'll bring them to you. But if not, we will certainly do so in our subsequent uh, programs. Uh, that said, I would like to bring uh, in my panel now so we can start the discussion without any much uh, waste of time. So, uh, Dr. Nguambe, if you are there, please, uh, can I see you? Dr. Nguambe, are you there? I was told a few moments ago that you were you were in already. Yeah, I'm, okay. I'm, I'm, yeah I am on seat, uh, bro. Uh, good afternoon. Good afternoon from the West Coast, and good afternoon to my fellow panelists, uh, Chairman Patrick and uh, and Sama Thomas, I believe, you said, and good afternoon to you, my brother, my fellow Ambazonians. It's another great day to be an Ambazonian, and we look forward to having this informative discussion with you. So let's get right to it. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Ngambe. Thank you for being here. Uh, Honorable Sama Thomas, if you are there, please, can I see you? Well, yes, he did not said day today, and I don't know if my system uh, is defined. Uh, I believe like, say your system will work fine today. We we'll, we'll cross fingers say it stays so. <laughs> we'll keep your fingers crossed. Say we stay the same. Yes. Uh, like uh, now, I, I, I know. I, I, I know. Be, I don't know whether uh, Chairman Patrick, you don't, you don't be in. Chairman Patrick, if you be in, please. Mark, I see you. If not, I shall say when Chairman Patrick be in. It will indicate so that we go make and make it join the discussion for today. I think ground zero don't always the ask they make we sometimes we will try for the top for pigeon so that we make all them made it here. So we'll do with best today for try for broken for pigeon 
uh, the best way we will fit. <laughs> so uh, now, uh, uh, some children there for this struggle way. Um, when we look the way some of we comrades they, they, they bring information out, you they wonder which of their intentions. You see, uh, because when you they bring out information now for inform the public, now for motivate the public, now for enlighten them, for give them information where probably they never get them, and sometimes will bring clarity to a situation where it be confusing. So now, now so we believe, say, we suppose for the conduct itself, those of us who would come out for give information to the public. But when somebody it come out, they put out information where you believe say that person know the facts of which way they talk about, but it is it choose for present the the information in a manipulative way, for sway the op the public opinion, especially against a fellow comrade. That one it be anti revolutionary. I I talk here. In terms of a story, I don't know if uh, Dr. Mugambe or Mr. Matamans, you don't hear some video where Fabiano is sent them out there. I don't where follow it, that. I don't follow that yeah. video. And, uh, yeah. I that and, and I would like to make this, this statement for Fabiano. I hope say, and I should say, go listen. Uh, because we know the fight now against ourselves. We, we just talk, and, I, and I, one thing that this world you do over and over, it be self defeating. When would it come out for slander a fellow comrade unjustly? When you get the facts of the case and you choose for spread something else, this story it concern the program where now divine chamukon divine chamukon program now if they run that program and comrade Chris he will be a guest on that program. I, I make, make the story be very clear and. Make, make people they understand now. Comrade Chris has been a guest. Comrade Chris has not been a host of the program. He's been a guest on that program. And during the, 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 the period where people have been called in, this enabler, Nkonda Titus, he be called into the program. He did make some derogatory statements, pro provocative statements. And divine he asked some kind of question. Divine Chamacon he asked him request say, what if you are take on these questions where uh Nkunda Nkunda titles, titles. It, it make them. Come request we talk say he need he no go dignify uh for response for respond to a traitor like Nkonda titles. Now that now the response that way come request we make them. Now, what if Fabiano it put them out there? Fabiano, and Fabiano, I believe, say he know the truth of the story. He know exactly what he want because I sure say don't watch that that clip for that uh, interview. Fabiano, the talk now say, come request, he don't invite and contact titles for on ABS TV. Say don't invite him for ABS TV. And I the challenge, Fabiano, if you just say the talk not true, my brother, bring out the video of that program. Where Nkonda titles will appear on ABS TV. This is ABS, we are on ABS TV here. Uh, Nkonda titles we don't ever appear on the on ABS TV live as a guest. That the question that way I ask him. If any person he get a video where Nkonda titles, because he always try for call in, make some derogatory statements, but it never ever be. Uh, a, a, a guest on ABS TV. And yeah. person, if you call for phone, you get a live show, person you call, you know, go just look person your phone number, you know who they call. You know, go know until you don't answer, maybe hear the person in voice, then you go know. So when person, it come out, it makes such a statement. It be an intentional act where you, you intend to manipulate the public, persuade their opinion against a fellow comrade, unjustly and if if fabiano it be an a, 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 an honest person he will come out apologize for that story where he don't set him out there it'd be shameful so we continue for the step of our own toes and we feel say we, we fight for the struggle we, you're not fighting for any struggle when you go out and you, you try to 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 tarnish the image of a fellow comrade especially when you are doing so unjustly 
not based on facts, but on falsehoods. It is shameful. And Fabiano should come out and apologize. Uh, I don't know. Uh, 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 Officer Matamas, you, you will talk something. I, I, I believe so you don't watch that video. Um, your own opinion about this. Yeah, if, if you say, Comrade Chris, he referred that uh, video for me, or for we forum, and not listen anything where it come from where it come from Fabiano Deco. Why? Because any southern Cameroonian forget about the struggle. It turned out for the defend individuals at all cost mm -hmm. in place of struggle. It don't lose. It don't lose. It don't lose the way. To the reason why he never set out for this problem. <laughs> so Fabiano Deco, he might already be a skewed man because for Fabiano Deco, if nobody are yoked at it, then nothing. And which way Fabiano Deco they do up? Nobody ye Fabiano Deco. He deformed those stories. Now the guys that we didn't are yoked at it, he gang. We won in the South Africa, we equal in the city, tap, 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 and again, we we'll we'll put it this way. When we allow tribalism for takeover with reasoning so far as this struggle be concerned, now day we don't kill this struggle. Anybody from Manfe Manu, where it is support a Yoktabi like Eric Tato, like this type of guy, then he support Ayokta because they super support you. Then he support Ayokta because they go for their grave. Now, because Ayokta go for money. So there's nothing going to talk up for them. We will make any sense. Now, this guy that push Fabiano, they go from behind. Me, they go make those derogatory statements. And I know we see how Fabiano, they go. If you go for divine Achamo Kong Yi program, they even make Chris. Control the program for divine achamokong for who get for call in for ask any question. Make Chris is stop that person. If you don't be a skewed mind like that one called Fabiano de Co. I don't ask you say things it come up for condengi come this come whatever. I don't know the whole way even if they if he tell we he own financial support for this struggle, even for those way in the world condengi. Oh, then send it for condengi. Or be a senji. Lord Fabiano de Co. Ye and uh, native doctor for Sako. Sako is a mm -hmm. These are birds of the same feather. These are the most destructive elements in the South African struggle. And make me mm -hmm. a one Southern Cameroonian. If you see your brother, he really talk now about this struggle. A basic argument for defense of particular individuals and for blackmail from particular individuals. No, that is an agent of the enemy. And yeah, uh, the enemy no more enough for the enemy to come. If he did the talk, the same story they talk, but it killed you and it killed the struggle. The likes of Fabiano Deco, uh, Nation Kocheba. And the so called Mungwa, Dr. Mungwa, Fruit John, so these guys are no longer working for the Southern Cameroon struggle. They are but destroying the struggle. For to these guys, if it is not about who they support, no more Southern Cameroons. Exactly, exactly. And, 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 and I had a question that way, I don't ask him several times, Officer uh, Matama, say, when you you come out, you did make a statement. I believe, say, the first thing you get for ask yourself and say, in what way this information where I did put them out, it will help for advance the cause for the liberation of the Southern Cameroon. In what way, where this information where I put them there, it will help for move the struggle forward. Now, the thing that we get for ask yourself, when you come out and you are whole time now for bash on others, at the end of the day, which value you don't add them to the struggle? Especially the worst thing I said when you did do that one now on false information, false information, and a guy this way, it is used now this struggle for survive. 
Anyone that views, now what I see, if I'm going to send three, four, five videos out in one day, because everyone may put in follow you, and I saw it take and sell that one for YouTube and Facebook for, for survive. But then it could turn around, accuse people where they actually sacrifice their money, where they go work and get them, put them into the struggle. It could turn down, it is. It is. And, and you don't, you don't know them for the, about this tribalism. Fabiano, they go in whoever talk who way it is supporter man. But if he say, we don't know. If he say, we don't know who way it is advocate for. Uh, it be drama for some person. We know that person. Because ego criticize every other person. But you know, whoever he is, he criticizes that person. Way to support him. But we know who that person be. But it, it not be of my, it, it, you know, it really help me in any way for come to put all that kind of them here. If you know, if it be say like if we mention say why come the Chris we bring Eric Shinde? Why we bring this uh, Mukong man? That those are fair criticisms, fair, very fair. You have the right to question that, but don't go and bring something that is not true to say that Konda Titus was uh, was invited as a guest on ABS TV when you know that is false. That is where I have an issue. Criticize <laughs> ABS TV or, 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 or based on facts. Uh, Dr. Gwambe, wow. come in here. Yeah, that, that Mike, you know, I, I be see, I be see that um, some person for Grand Zero, he be so my brother for Grand Zero, he be forward me that um, that outing, and like Sama Thomas, generally I know they watch that guy, I know they watch him, you understand now, but I be take time to listen for this thing, and it be surprised me because time when Comic Chris we go for that chat chat night, I be watch the interview for chat night. Then when yes. time when Comic Chris be here for ABS TV, I be watching too, so I be know that circumstance very very well so it'd be funny me as 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 the fabiano deco guy he did fabricate this in line they talk say come with chris we invite and you just you understand as you you rightfully don't talk bro massa fabiano they just the trap of create uh, um controversy between he and uh, comrade chris because he won't write comrade chris he coattails forget the uh, 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 views and all that kind of thing now, that's the unfortunate yes. thing behind is there because i don't know why you come out they talk blatant lie where all man go no say not lie and you mm -hmm. even fact check that line and the funny thing now for me where it, it, it funny me but we understand this is the, the media landscape that's the way the media landscape it unfortunately works and the other funny thing where it be really make a man laugh for uh, uh, uh fabiano he statement it be being a say he did talk say come with chris no really get tv not just uh uh uh, 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 uh facebook uh, and i said and I said to myself, Fabiano, you you are also essentially engaged in the same business. But what Comet Chris yes. is doing is even at a higher level than what you're doing. Point number yes. one. Point number two. Mm -hmm. The nature of modern media. This is the direction that modern media is going. Traditional news outlets are having a very tough time in the current business landscape because of this mm -hmm. new way of doing media and this new way of doing delivering information to our people. Because there's a lot of uh, um fake narratives that is going out from traditional media people's stories aren't getting getting told accurately look at the ambazonian story how many of the how much how much of traditional media is talking about ambazonian story how much of traditional mm -hmm. media is talking about our brothers in south sudan and 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 not even and not well, north sudan it's actually north sudan that it's in a war right now and how much of traditional media is talking about this the civil war that's going on in north sudan how much of traditional media is talking about what's going on in with our brothers being killed in the democratic republic of congo so cool. the western world and you and i can be having these phones how much yes. of traditional media is doing they're not doing it it is up to sources like comrade chris and other people who have outlets like this that can talk freely without being constrained by by people who want to control your speech that are actually talking about what's real out there in the world that people uh, well uh, to, to that point to that point dr guambe i i will, I will invite uh Fabiano to call ground zero and ask them how they get abs tv do they get abs tv on their phones exactly exactly uh, I, I don't know why people just come out and they say or tell all these lies they get it through their satellite. Uh, if if it's not a TV station, how then will you get it through your satellite receiver? But but bro, but bro, uh, but bro, the uh, argument it, just, the, the just, argument uh, is even fake because even the guys who have actual who act, who, who are the big name TV people have platforms on YouTube. CNN is on YouTube. Uh -huh. All the Nigerian televisions are on YouTube. Al Jazeera is on Al YouTube. Uh, 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 the Turkish TVs are on YouTube. What is this guy talking about? What is he talking about? 
And furthermore, we all know our brother Comrade Chris is not afraid to talk to people. Has he not had people who came on and said that if they were given a gun and they had a choice between killing him and President Bia, they would kill uh, uh, Comrade Chris? Did he not bring those very people to the show? Has Comrade Chris not also brought on people who said that they, who were, who wanted to plan to kill his own brother? Has he not brought those very people on this show? Has he not brought on people who have mischaracterized the IG and the activities of the IG on this very program and had discussions with them? The IG. Well, I, I, I don't, I don't even want us to dwell too much. I just want, I wanted in our viewers to know when you listen to this point. stuff from this guy taking the with a pinch of salt. Hmm? Hmm? Yeah, yeah. You were still saying something, Dr. Ngwame. Yeah, I was saying that at the end of the day, the IG and Common Chris are not in, afraid to engage Ambazonians in uh -huh. discussions. Even Ambazonians who may be a little bit weak in the knees and are talking about fed, fed, uh, uh, federation. And you know why the IG and Common Chris and all of us are not afraid to engage our fellow Ambazonians, especially publicly, so people back home can see it. It is basically yeah. because yeah. Yeah. we want people to see that our ideas are better than the ideas of those who want to surrender to La Republic de Cameroon. We want our fellow Ambazonians to see that the, the people, those of us who are liberationists, we have better ideas. We have a better future plan for Ambazonia than those people who want to take us back to Federation to eat the vomit that was already spit up with La Republic de Cameroon. That's why we engage in people who disagree with us. And, 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 and to agree with you there, Dr. Mugambe, let me quote one example. You saw the, uh, the Mukong Son guy who came on, who came on the last time. Did you notice that towards the end of that show, that guy was almost running away from his position, the initial position he had? He was he was finding ways of saying, but I'm with you. I'm actually with you. But it was because he, he had so much fire that he was trying to get out of his own position and to say, but I'm with you. I'm, I'm just saying things in a different way. But he could not really explain uh, how he wants to get us to freedom through the federation and that is why these people are brought on to challenge them on these positions they have which we don't agree with it is not because we agree with them that we're bringing them on but if if no. Fabiano had, had just criticized us based on that fact alone and speak the truth there will be no problem but don't go and fabricate lies about something that did not happen on abs tv and, and to make it seem as if it happened which is which is just false and manipulative that's what we are against the fun is that um, uh, uh, plenty of Southern Cameroon would like for follow such trash because once your reputation for me it be questionable one two forget whether you can't talk my truth again i know it's different day mm -hmm. i never follow you again i never listen to your trash Mm -hmm. we'll yeah, yeah. Now, so, now, so, now, so, it's fine for uh, sanction that kind of thing. Now, uh, may, may we go for this other story where it it really caused havoc for Ground Zero. Now, um, uh, now this story for change of taxi colors. This thing for change taxi colors. Uh, this one it be one of the most New Jerusalem uh, tank alive. What? New Jerusalem tank alive. I no waka. I don't say bye no waka. One of the terrible so we... ideas and way some possible that have come up with in this trouble. Now so say bye no waka. No waka go my siam. Now so bye no waka. Taxi no waka. Taxi no waka. Taxi no waka. I say say bye no waka. Just be. And no go put a very clearly. I have a choice in name be written all over which we will see. I'm so I have a choice in name it be written all over this. It is I have a choice fault for what is happening here. Now let's take into consideration. Me will take her into consideration. The few taxi them. I also want to hear me. The, the few taxi them where they don't try for paint their cars blue and white. Which it don't happen. La Republic, it don't impound those cars. Those drivers, they be uh, taken away. And as we speak, nobody, you don't know who side where those drivers in day. Nobody, you don't know who side those drivers the day and their cars. Now, the question I say, what the Ayabacho and a gang they go do now? for rescue those drivers 
and release their vehicles. Now, when I break, you don't can't take them. Where are they go? Where are they don't kill them? Where are they they prison? Where are they where? Nobody knows. Because for fear of this kind of violence, they go paint blue and white for their motor them. Now they they, uh, uh, they don't they don't can't take them go down. So they, they put the population between a rock and a hard place. Say I, I, you go tell my person paint the car, knowing say when that person drive from here, it won't reach up the another group of people they go pick you say why you paint that car. The ADF no get the means for protect these drivers. That is our concern. They cannot protect these drivers after they have painted their cars with the blue and white. If it was something that they had absolute control over uh, the streets of Amanda and they are able to ensure that these drivers can drive their cars safely, we will not be complaining about it. But you are putting this yes. in harm's way. Uh, uh, Honorable Samuel Thomas, uh, you two, you, 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 you've been our backup, uh, picking like me. Um, I want me to tell me your own uh, which way you know about this and the ramifications of this policy on our people on ground zero. Uh, my brother, David, at times I used to shoot on at the look at things, I did ask myself. If we all for this struggle we really set out in a liberate the southern Cameroons. And if we set out of a liberate the southern Cameroons, wait to be we are resolved dead to what we are people. Wait till we get for do and for we are people. Where we claim say we defy of a liberate them. I know if you fight say I want to liberate myself and my people then I tend for be a monster toward my people then they push those same people remember the fight for liberate them they send over the enemy hand say me the enemy be kill them because the situation where people in there for inside now now a double they, they are at a crossroad light them light them Pre well, wait. so blue and white where you know say la republic it will kill anybody in a taxi, it will kill the driver, it will, it will arrest the driver, it will seize that taxi, like they were seized back before, send them for their brothers and for Buffalo Sam and Duala and Yawunde and elsewhere. Then for you, when the guys want to talk for grass, when they paint this motor for black, for blue, and white, may I really ask them, when La Republic you don't take that motor, them go with them, when they follow what they take over the motor, they paint them blue and white. And if they paint that boat for blue and white, how that blue and white it don't liberate the southern Cameroons or oh, Mancot or oh, Bameda. Now, if they paint it for blue and white, it don't liberate we. The question here now, no. When I get hit, when I own hate itself, how would they think with them? If I tell you, say, go do this thing against your own people, the way that people and this you are in the day, you go for what do you get hate. So if you go to them as such, then that same thing will do that thing for you. Tomorrow he woke up, he go call La Republic so they can kill for what we do. Because he don't do all this thing for you. Mm -hmm. You will blame them and say them are black leg. Now the black leg. Are you tell Ayabachel? Are you tell Ayabachel and this body on the ground? I say majority of the black legs will be them now on ground zero. Now this kind of actions and create them. I will be surprised when I get a, a, a number of write-ups when they come from Barisa from uh, Barisa Tumasa. I call Barisa Tumasa say Barisa Tumasa. Me and you, for you real that say if this boy come up with some policy, we are role the advisory role for this boys. Mm -hmm. If they come with some policy, you say this so. Now things you don't know, think I'm saying we do it. We get for take that team, we put them for down. We see which advantage that can get for the struggle and the disadvantage. If the disadvantage can be more than the advantage, we'll tell the same, no, bro, this thing would have been out, so we do as so. In all five words, it will harm we for this way and it will expose one for this way we will not get security. So make we not go that way. In all this, I say, because say we advise them, when they tell me anything, we'll just say, yes, as we bring as so, if I will not go implement them. 
way we put on turn around for the suffer with that. What type of a, what kind of recklessness be that? And again, a person like Barza Kumasa to be involved for such recklessness and to support them. And if you push a person like Barza Kumasa, the next thing we do, the way we're talking to say, we are going to be talking about because we're going to not, we're not, we're not get forces on the ground, leave the people to go in forces on the ground, we do what we do. A lame uh, man. Uh, so see, so see, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, may we take certain may we take certain uh, facts into consideration here. May we take certain facts into consideration. For ground zero, as we talk now, we never yet see the ADF ego confront any like to come around camp or their barracks, or their police station, or their gendarme post, none of that, it never happened. As we did talk, that, that, the, that the police and the gendarme and so on, they still there in charge, right? The yes. only way, the only way, uh, uh, the ADF, it go to out, go extort them from people, now still a lot of people become their own currency. They never talk, they made a change, that currency, start to introduce their own money. It never happened. Eh? We never see them made a, made a, made a, made a, made a, made a, made a set the example for take their own motor, put them for road to drive for sure. The people say, Now nah, they think this way with one move or not one. No, now we this would set the example. They never do it yet. They never set that example. You see, the colonial officials like the deals and the mayors and the so on, the governors colonial governors, they still the operate for that very region. The ADF will never take the any the action the against them yet. They maybe never do any of that. They are the military. The civilians who are among the uh, well, inside quarters, the civilians who are inside quarters, we, we will not tell you, say, remove all our public citizens in the southern Cameroons or in at least even, in even their citizens, in even their citizens. Remove them. They don't, they don't move them. So, Instead, so, which do they do? They say they go take money for these guys. Them, they say now we're gonna be, we're gonna be partners. We're gonna give you money. We're gonna control. We're gonna business. We're gonna remove them. But we're gonna once made a bank taxi for blue and white with the end of the day. And, 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 and the question I say, when they paint and when they paint and blue and white, where the colonial officials, where they they in charge of the town, not still a republic. The military, not still a republic. Deal, still a republic. Currency, still la republic. Everything yeah, else yeah. is like public. When you change taxi color, now which difference you don't create them? Which, 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 which you don't change them? You don't change now. Wait, when everything else it remain like public to come around, but the only thing we want to change them now taxi color. So uh, uh, I, I, I want for I want for hear your take on this one, this crazy idea, because it just be. It, 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 kind of thing, the way they make them, it, it hurt with progress. It, it hurt with progress. And in the advanced way, it, it caused a lot more black legs as um, some other must talk. My, 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 my brother, my brother, then, we were going to for the panel. And I even want to talk, and specifically our family, but within the back home. We, Ambazonians, at home and in the diaspora, we know be out for cause would not harm we be out for liberate all of us we ambazonians we know what we know it's a good policy be when we want to create a good policy one of the primary things then we really check now how it go impact our population that's that's one of the primary things that we check before we go and we start doing how is it going to impact our population then we even check how it go impact our fighters because we know what any kind of situation where fighter they go do something then they go instead turn the population against that fighter then where the population mm -hmm. give will be that the number one protectors of the fighters so when you see people then where they do some kind of thing where they hurt the population and then that very thing it also put our liberation fighters in danger mm -hmm. then you know say so that people then where they do that thing no they no get any idea about where to be a liberation struggle even though they be found for the call people they say johnny just come uh, you, you know, no get roadmap blah blah this blah blah that 
even this issue of roadmap be the phone me. I remember I be see Amber Newsline, he be put he be put some thing out where he talk say uh, our brother them, our sister them for Somaliland, they be they do these differentiation kind thing them for differentiate themselves from Somalia and Mogadishu. And I read that thing, I asked myself, say, that is the biggest misinterpretation where I don't ever hear him. My people, when you go and you look at what the Somaliland they do, the reason why Somaliland be able to do the thing the way they do now, now, so now, because they get full, unhindered control of their territory. Yeah. Somalia, Mogadishu, no get any troops inside Somaliland. Inside Somaliland, hot war, no, they go on right now. If you even really look at you even call and say a cold war between Somaliland and the rest of Somalia, Mogadishu. It's a cold war where they know they touch each other. Somaliland mm -hmm. know they touch them. Somalia, Mogadishu know they touch them. So what is Somaliland able to do? They're able to set up all the 30 universities they have in such a small country. It's much smaller than Amazonia. Mm -hmm. They're able to collect their taxes and educate their population. They partnered with the United Arab Emirates to build a port that the United Arab Emirates wanted to use. And is now Ethiopia wanting to use that port? Mm -hmm. That's because they have full control of their territories. If Somaliland wants to change the color of its taxis, they have full control of their territory. Where Somalia, Mogadishu will not come and send people to be enforcing laws against the people of Somaliland. That is the difference. But there's some people who I don't know whether when they read the first sentence, the first part of the sentence, they don't go and read all the way to the end to get the full picture of what's going on. They just wake up from bed and they just start spotting things and presenting themselves as authorities and then they mess up everything they turn the population against the liberation struggle they make those of us who are diehard Amazonians to look foolish it is unacceptable and the one thing that i really appreciate is that all stripes of Amazonians, irrespective of what organization they belong to from dr sako's group ayukta based people uh, uh, um sister marianta's people even those who don't even belong to any organizations, they have all come out and have categorically stated that they are against this very stupid policy at this particular time. It is a very stupid policy. It is unnecessary and uh, it is uh, harming the population uh, struggle. And yeah, I, I want I want us to take note of one thing here. There's Absolutely one not. thing that is happening that I don't know if you people have noticed. Have you noticed that La Republic has, has intentionally decided not to intervene? Yep. Yes. Have, have you noticed that yes. there is no intervention? What you think is because they cannot they cannot come out and chase these boys down? Yeah. There is no yeah. intervention from La Republic. Why? Yeah. I want yeah. to yeah. make yeah. yeah. now. As when myself say, why La Republic never come for challenge these boys? Why? Because the thing the way this boy they do them, it the benefit La Republic to come around. La Republic. Now, why that way that La Republic never come out for challenge them? Because it is so more discord between the fighters and with civilian population. population. It is make a now a be now internal problem between Ambazonians and Ambazonians. So La Republic is you don't now they sit back, they watch them, they enjoy, they they laugh, they they drink coffee. They say, okay, may they do them. Now think this way they do them, it go turn more people against the struggle, and the struggle could die. So La Republic. Now, the way people they don't talk say the ADF in the fight now for this struggle. See every prominent person where it don't pass through the ADF. See who say it don't end. See Capodane where we've been at their spokesman. He did talk now about devolution. He did talk now about special yeah. status. Nothing that we can talk about now. Let me go and talk about that. Now. That now. So the 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 fact that. The, the enemy, he don't allow these boys and he causes chaos around because they know say the, the thing with the boy they do them is the benefit now La Republic to Cameroon. Go ahead, uh, I'm with Thomas. Yeah, the ADF now scavengers with a day in the wilderness, they chase weaker prey for take their spoils. Which are which are called which are which are those scavengers. If you see anybody way at the long run for the struggle, it's is a it loss you sign you sign and shield the fall back position in the ever been like ADF. Just look at Amber News Line. Mm -hmm. I don't know how this my young man managed to find himself inside ADF where he sings some song now. And even when they sing that song, if they don't get idea, if they never learn about a street or some place, 
Because they just hear them casually, they carry themselves right inside. They talk mm -hmm. rubbish like the street of Somali land. Now, Claude, you know, they talk again about the ills of the ATF. Everything being done by the ATF is now to him 100% good. No, forget say the first thing we we'll use them for lure people will be in a phone tracking. After we we'll bring mm. out well, the, the, the the real uh, uh, <laughs> the real thing about phone the, the, the how phones they be the triangulation of uh, of of the various satellites for for give a phone signal. After we we'll expose that that thing, it go under for some time. Then it started to creep back again. The, now it is tilt now towards uh, Ayabacho because the place where all it, deplorables there they go. It, it be actually apologize to me because I be confronted on that one. I say, my friend, you know where, you know how the money transmit information for telephone. Mm -hmm. We we a public, we a country. You know, know you like an individual. You know him. You see how you exposed to everybody in Kilambo ground. Both of these will have recklessness. He apologized to me on that one. Mm -hmm. But let me go. When I used to tell me say that they say that they brainwash people. And I'm most importantly, you know what you know? Know? brainwash that people no go school. The question we may have to ask now, how can you brainwash a person like Barrister Thomas, who is a holder of PhD? Nobody will they put them for Kumba. He take them for London. And in law, how Barista Tumasan, an intelligent person like that one, he managed to find himself inside ADF. We're not a believer of Ayabacho. He not to see the atrocities where the ADF do on the ground. He not to see the pain where the ADF inflict upon our people. If you go by the Twitter, they will say, before the age one came with this policy, La Republic was already killing our people, La Republic was already doing this. So if La Republic, if La Republic kill with people, make we give La Republic the uh, am ammunition, the more, for say, as you know, the key we put away, so now that, now that we don't push and send for you, just wipe them out. Now, you know, we will do it. We give for the mitigate the situation, we say, if La Republic come from that direction, just go this direction. No, so we'll tell you, say, as an American government nation, maybe we'll all go for them in the massacre with that. not be intelligent people there. We'll put their way that for reason. Uh, uh, Thomas, my, 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 uh, Thomas, my explain something for you. Uh, and I want thing where a lot of people that they make a mistake. When they just hear some person, it gets some certificate, they feel say it be it be in it be wise. There's a difference between wisdom and knowledge knowledge is what you acquire what you, you you are taught something that is passed on to you in school and when 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 they pass knowledge on to you for school the purpose now say it will trigger your own internal intrinsic sensibilities where you will be now able for apply that small knowledge we don't learn for school now for be able for function in the society and perform well according to the knowledge we don't acquire for school unfortunately some people they be incapable of taking that knowledge and then applying it they just read them cram them as they as the teacher give them for school for them not so a day they not be able for change anything for that thing where they don't learn them for school so now for their way to my son a four he he read book for school as if he learn them for school come on it don't get any effect for you for be able to understand societal changes, analyze them, and make rational decisions. He's not able to do that. Now, why that way you see they always fall on the wrong side? Because when you hear the talk sometime, you almost feel like for, for knocking for head because it'd it, it be very unreasonable. So uh, I, I know even one more believer at uh, that point. We did just want to talk say. This yeah, uh, thank I'll give you a, a, a moment for for talk about this thing again. This thing where these people they do on for ground, it be wrong, it be self destructive, it be hurt our people, and I think we will get for stop them. The population get for rise up because if they wait, make La Republic do and La Republic no do and because now for La Republic the benefit. Doctor Ngambe. Yeah, the last thing I want to add, time I can because you don't correctly talk. Uh, the last thing I want to talk now say if someone is a good friend to you a good friend is going to advise you properly 
That's just the plain truth. I know that there's been a lot of disagreement between our liberation movements and all those types of things. So maybe the egg of C A D F they are thinking that you know we are bad friends of them and we're just giving them good advice <laughs> because we hate them. That's the funny part about it. It's good advice, but they don't want to take it. They think it's bad advice. But the truth of the matter is that a good friend gives good advice, even when that when you know that friend is doing something wrong. You have to give them good advice. Nisama was saying something at the beginning, which is very correct. If the fact that it did come for you, they want to bring some proposal, and that proposal it no make sense, and they go put their their lives in danger, and they go also be destructive to the liberation struggle. You as a good friend, you as an Ambazonian brother or sister to those liberation fighters, you must give them good advice. Don't just go along with them because you think it's going to win their favor later on so that you can be puffing your chest that you're the one with the biggest forces in ground zero, you come on the forces in, and all that rubbish. That's not helpful. That's not helpful at all. Be a good brother to our fighters, be a good sister to our fighters, be a good friend to our fighters and tell them the truth if they are approaching you for guidance, especially about certain policies they're thinking about implementing. Thank you. Uh, yeah, and as you talk, Anything where it happen for any of these boys where you go out, you carry out these reckless acts. Now, now you have a show and if people then kill them. Now, the, the blood of these boys, because these boys, they go end up for die. These boys, they go die. As they did work as so, well, small time you answer the wrong time. And when they die, their blood is there on them. Now, they kill them. Because now they send out, send them out with this terrible idea for go try to implement something where it not be possible. Because as we don't talk, the few people that went around trying to try for paying that taxi will not even know who side in there. They don't be arrested, they are cast, impounded, and then they take them to, to a place where nobody not even know they are whereabout at this time. They know if you pro provide protection to those people where they paint those cars, then why you will send people out for going to expose themselves where you not be able to provide them the protection? But now, which kind of sense there for that kind of thing for one? And why? What would be the net benefit of it? When, when we know say the, the area is still, we still get like big colonial administrators where they, 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 they control everything. You never go after them. Did they ever choose now the vulnerable people then for go after them? So, uh, for the, we'll, go, we'll go end that topic for the, um, the next thing we would like more to talk about now this one for, uh, we'll be, we'll be see some video for one of La Republic Cameroon, their TV stations where, uh, one of the commentators, if you make some statement, uh, it don't be about two or three weeks. But I, I know if you allow this, this one me go, we will not talk about them. Where they, they asked about how La Republic of Cameroon government, if he do for end this war. This man, he talks, say, make La Republic, he try for use whatever and which uh, military force or whatever, talk with some people and say, if that one, you know, worker, then may they just come for we for the Southern Cameroons, come clear all things. That means say, may they just come commit genocide. Now they work, if you call them for French, the French word we use them now, rase. May they just come rase the whole place. So, um, maybe the first time where a lot of people Cameroon citizens, you don't come out and make this very irresponsible statements. And you go, you go, you go, if you go, you go think, say, for a country where they talk in a country of laws, <laughs> no, we no say, no law, no day. Say, uh, the government, you go come out for reprimand that person for make that kind of callous statement on public television. Not a word would never hear say anything happen for that young man where we make that statement. Nothing. It never happened for you. Nobody, it never talk anything about you. Is to live your life freely, but we we got we, we not gonna live. I'm say make now La Republic take action because we know say deep down in the hearts of most La Republic citizens now exactly which is that way they want for Siam. They just want for eliminate we because which way they want from we now which we will get them. No now we where they like them. They like now which we will get them. So it not be surprising say their government never talk anything about that very irresponsible statement whether. That man in Mecca on public television. That means they did talk, say, may they come commit genocide on the people of the Southern Commons. They already did one, but he talk them publicly. May they come white. That means they may they kill 
man picking woman, pregnant one, picking them all man. May they just kill all man. Now wait, wait, that word raze, it mean. So I want to talk for you and I say, for we Ambazonians, some of now when I they hide for a lot of people to come around. We go like we wanna gather information on this young man. We wanna send him for we. We want to know whether he did so. Now which kind of man? He get work. He name now wait. He be married. He get picking them because if he talks to me, they kill all. We we, we need for the zero in on these people for know who where they there. and for shine we own light on them. So we do watch them. And we go take with own action when the time it be right for hold them responsible for the statements we they make about we because we don't leave this in them again. We want please with the beg una, but when I want to watch that thing where that man talks to me, they rest when I collect that money name. Which side where they stay? We don't know which town, which which street. He get he get picking them, he get woman, he get papa, he get mommy. Get brother them, we gonna send with that information. Man, which we get them. We, we, we need for no we end on enemy in tuna. Make we get some information about you. Then we gonna know what you for do. So with the back one, any man where he get information on that person where we talk to me, they can't kill all we people them. We need for know exactly who where this man he be. Uh honorable Samuel Thomas, I don't know if you get something to talk about him. Well, I be, I be hearing that thing where we say what na ratize or na raze or whatever. Mm -hmm. I know the year friends, but at times when these guys used to make their, those uh, reckless uh, statements, uh, the be forced for understand the damn thing what I like and what I don't like. Them. We don't even need for the ways we are time with such uh, people from our public, because when tune dong chamali we say make uh, them whole dogs uh, and uh, roaches. Because they will clear the streets uh, with them, and the guy for Boya, they will say be uh, who be lie, he be make those, those same statements. La Republic don't Boya don't withdraw them for make those statements. No, they don't follow up with those their various statements. Them we uh, see a town crier, he the cry for upstage today to talk about Bameda. Where all the use of it, they don't they, they don't kill, they don't kill them. It is make we start make them stand firm. They, they don't be they don't follow up with those statements then. So it only be left for we for make this guy be the feed the pain we go through. If this ADF be the, really the inflict this pain it inflicted on our people, now for large population citizens like Martin Mungwa. If he talks here, I talk to me the key pregnant one about to move here and fruit or so. I mean, I said the key pregnant woman for certain cameras. No, I never ever made that statement. I be talking and say, any large public citizen way to certain cameras. Whether that one will be pregnant or on a small pequino will not know how he do find himself day. Make raze too. An eye for an eye. But unfortunately, the ADF really advise the people never carry out this type of activities where they will protect and secure people. But it said advice where they inflict that pain where the laboratory already inflicted on we make the inflict on the remaining few where they sit there. It be a it, it be a regrettable situation. So fine we serve with this type of reckless individuals. We do not get nothing upstairs for things. Yes. But they think again. Thank you. Dr. Kwambe. My, my position on this particular thing is that to uh, for, for French Cameroonians, then where they watch their brother, they talk that kind of dirty talk. One day the chickens, they go come home for roost because as when I give when I in security forces, when our soldiers, they made it, they come for our side, the Kiwi, one day when we now go there for some trouble in particular when the betty bulu people that they fight for for who will succeed for who that very fact that we don't come ambazonia forget that experience you know they go use that very fact that they're on top of now and you all are going to deserve it and there'll be absolutely yeah. no one who will save you that's the that's the sad part about it as you all in french cameroon when i did for french cameroon wanted to watch how your soldier them your insecurity forces they come kill our brother them, our mommy them 
they burn villages them they pull people them from from hospitals shoot them they take people away they they inside a, a, a motorway they not even being a taxi safe they take that people them because they be blue and white they, they harass them one way they do all the kale kale all the kind of thing it is going to happen to you all because that is normally what happens when you when people then go they go fight they go they commit injustice against people the way they define their freedom now when you do things where you violate god he will that soldier then they go come back inside french cameroon and they're going to do the exact same thing also maybe when i start to prepare if funny you no know, if funny as guy they talk to me they rise away if funny as how guy they talk say we've been a crop all that kind of thing if funny and then when i know they show any sympathy when i know they put mm -hmm. any pressure on top when our government mm -hmm. maybe when our government take uh the negotiation process serious it will come back for now and what are you of all going course. to do who will talk for of you who will say it'll, it'll come back because they, they, they make and say with their own country it implode. I don't know whether they even read the tea leaves or see what will happen for them. Uh, I've been seeing someone a whole what on a CPDM where CPDM closed. It shows a if you see a military, but CPDM military, but they lament for the they lament. It talks oh, may they kill all we. I say, when I never see anything yet, when I never see yeah. anything yet, when I never cry, they may kill all. Now, what would we fight for here when I talk call with terrorists? Talking about terrorists, uh. We go ask myself, say, now who really be a terrorist? Uh, I think uh, for short definition for pigeon wolf humanity, now we talk, say, a terrorist is a person where they use crude violence for so fear in the minds of a people, a demographic, for the purpose of obtaining an unjust uh, benefit. Uh, and when we look at the cause for the liberation of the southern Cameroons, we ask ourselves, but now how it be start? And then we look at the origins of this conflict. We remember again, I think it was in September of 2018, when we come out with peace plans, we come out for march on the street, just for demonstrate, like every other oppressed people, peaceful march. Just for tell those in authority say we not be happy with with condition. What did they be do? They be come out with helicopters where they de fire into uh, and on uh, the, uh, the crowd where you not be armed. They they shoot a hundred and something people. They be die that day. They shoot and kill them. Live bullets. And even as it be ha it be happen, so they, it never end for they. I will talk many, many people understand which way this terrorism it be. Wait till they happen now. They are soldiers now, they start to go into private homes. They, they break doors, shoot people them, to shoot someone in for leg, shoot someone and kill them, molest people them, destroy crops, take women them, send them out, young girls, they take and somebody go swim for inside mud, sewage. Mole that one not terrorism that. Now terrorism. Don't want them, they disappear them, carry them, go prison where they will never ever see them again. That one a terrorism that. And my talk on here in plain sight, if we want to talk about terrorism, one person now the chief terrorist for La Republic of Cameroon. The biggest terrorist in La Republic of Cameroon is none other than Paul Bia. I want me to be clear. Paul Bia is the biggest terrorist. I want to say it again. Paul Bia is the biggest terrorist because this man has terrorized a lot of people. He has terrorized, he has, he has killed people, pastors, priests, eh, children, mothers, fathers, thrown many in jail. Even people where they don't worship this man, he take him, throw him for jail, forget. Mendoza, one day so, when a man is sing a singer here for Paul Bia, but in a pity. So Paul Bia, when we talk about terrorism, the biggest terrorist is Paul Bia. So I want me a Tanganji here. Me a Tanganji know. And right behind him, the likes of uh, Paul Tanganji are right there. Bankui and the others. Ngongo, Shantabia, Bia, they are all terrorists. These are people who have unleashed uh, criminal gangs called soldiers on innocent people in the southern Cameroons and the people are being killed every day so the, those are the real terrorists for those who don't know 
Those are the real terrorists. Uh, Honorable Samuel Thomas. Well, if, like, at the use of action, La Republic, the cause of the Republic to be terrorists, the question I ask anybody from La Republic Cameroon, how you do find yourself for Southern Cameroon? And the world at large, where the claim say, La Republic will fight a separatist uh, movement for Southern Cameroon. The question I ask the world, how if we do come about say the Southern Cameroon's not part of La Republic, where the Southern Cameroon's in the fight a war. They, they, they the war, they talk about make La Republic a call for dialogue, make La Republic come for dialogue. How you could see Thief Man, a criminal, he hold the victim in property. Instead of even hold the Thief Man, the criminal, say you must give the victim a property. No, a matter of negotiation, negotiating with him. Please give it to him. It's a matter of, it's a must give, give him for you, now your property. You tell him, say, hey, but see whether you feed, manage, whatever you give him, or you not know give him, and it kill the victim to go. It destroy the victim to go. We say, no, make him negotiate. La Republic, any La Republican citizen waiting for Southern Cameroon, not terrorists. The, the person where he sent them, as you rightly talk and Paul Bia, now the chief terrorist be that. If the world forever get conscience, as a token, if the world forget conscience, the day Paul Bia be sure of Paris, he talks say the, the issue of identity for Southern Cameroons, now he don't cause the problem. They don't try to assimilate we yes. and integrate we. But I did the issue, it don't stop you for do that job. If the world forget conscience that day, for beyond before leave Paris, go back for Africa, they will arrest you if for dinner of a hick. But unfortunately, the corrupt world who did it today, the likes of Paul Bia, they will get away with their crime. Now, only people that like Gaddafi. Where they will fight for protecting their people, be criminals. But the real criminals like this one, Paul Bia, where they will fight for protecting the interests of the people that keep them, they are very good servants, good presidents. Mm -hmm. Even if they massacre their people, all oh, it not would mean nothing. But they are doing what they've been put there to do. But one day, just one day. Who say we meet up this terrorism for the Republic? We will want to go join them so they will do for Bush to fight for them. Ter the reign of terror, they will go on for them. The day we go leave, I don't they promise them this one for decades today. The day we go leave, that Bush will, move, will remove this kunyam for them. This terrorism for them. We will put them back for that Bush. And when we will put them there, they will fight for the next 100 years. That word of fish. I promise them that. Yeah, uh, and Dr. Ngambe, before you come in again, let me just talk this one. Uh, when did they talk about declaring war, right? A country or the, the leader of a country, enough he woke up, declare war on his own people, right? You know, if he, you know, if he talk, you know, if he see the president of the United, of the United States. They woke up, declare war on another part of the United States, or uh, the president of Nigeria. They woke up, de declare war on another part of Nigeria. You will only declare war now on a foreign nation. One country is declare war on another country. That, that means say the fact say for we have decide for declare war on the Southern Cameroons because he recognizes the Southern Cameroons is not be part of a country. Huh? It knows uh, the Southern Cameroons now a different country. Now, why that if it be able for declare war on us? So it be very strange. Say we get people now where they still talk, say we'll be together. And we'll talk about this this uh this uh funny man where recording Golden Gole. Uh but before that one, oh. Dr. Gabe, no not true, say. War a be declared between two nations, a one nation declaring war on the other. 
by Paul Bia declaring war on the people of the Southern Cameroons, he acknowledged that we are actually separate nations. Isn't that the case? But that that's one hundred percent the case now. Paul, I mean, Paul Bia and his gang of kleptocrats and CPDM who have held French Cameroon hostage and Ambazonia hostage, you know, since Paul Bia took power in particular and changed the name from CNU to CPDM, they're the biggest gang of terrorists in the Gulf of Guinea, in the Bight of Biafra. They're the biggest gang of terrorists. And, and, and the, the, the thing with it, and I say, that terrorism in Nubi just start when Popo enter office. Paul Bia inherited that terrorism from a big brother uh, 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 dictator, Amadou Ahidjo, because now dictator, dictator, dictator Amadou Ahidjo, where he be uh, 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 usher in the law, the anti subversion law, where when you think differently from the state, they feel bank you. Now, why it be easy for time when they be start move towards this uh, getting rid of the multi partyism? No man will be really to protest because they be to see Ahidjo movements, the anti subversion kind of thing, and the way it be the dog dog people, them. And, and 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 all these other his secret police they waited be to kidnap people uh the, the political parties they 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 just went quiet i mean all the political parties in french cameroon way i hear you'll be be jailed them uh, uh anglophone brothers uh the uh, moon at them uh enjoy at them and the way they, they get their own political they see what they happen for french cameroon which it don't happen for the french cameroon politicians under hydro and then of course they get their own political ambitions they keep quiet they no fight then they bring the 1972 fake referendum which was an illegal act because they, no man will be able for protest mind you some people didn't be protest and what happened to those people where they be protest i hate you be banged them so mm -hmm. who in their right mind was going to go and, and and be thinking differently from the state and fighting against that fake referendum so this terrorism aspect is that now from my and then worst of all now coming to paul bia when paul bia took his own my brothers Two of you who are on this panel with me and my fellow Ambazonians waiting there for house and when I went when I did diaspora. Have we ever gotten justice for our brother Gwangandi? The terrorist act Never. that that Paul Bia and his thugs they did to Gwangandi, did they, they have we gotten justice for that? The, the Gabo massacre, have we gotten justice for that from the terrorists from La Republic to Cameroon? Baby Mata, what have we gotten justice? Mami Api, huh? our, our, our brother and way and sister and way they keep for Matu. For, for Southern Zone. Have we gotten justice for any of that? We haven't gotten justice for any of these things from these terrorists. So talk uh, talk about those who are, talk, talk about our brothers and, and sisters, our brothers and sisters who are languishing in their jails today. Why are they huh? there? Why, why they are they those are you, uh, Brazilians, are all of them, why are they in their jails today? What, what, uh, including those who were snatched from a foreign country. Including those who were taken from a foreign country and, and, and illegally brought in and locked up and rushed through a so-called military tribunal with no what is defense. Abdul, what is our brother Abdul Karim doing there? And Where, I know what is Abdul Karim, Karim in there? Why is he in jail? Holy, what, what's his holy crime? Eh? You know? What is his what crime? What is Abdul Karim's crime? Eh? So these are the things that when, when I say Paul Bia is the biggest terrorist out there. People should know it. He is the biggest terrorist. If there's somebody that should be called a terrorist, those are the people. They are Tanganjis. The, the only reason a Tanganji is there as minister of so-called territorial administration, without even knowing the difference between Kumba and Boya, is because he knows how to kill. He knows how to kill. That is the only reason a Tanganji is there. Eh? Those are the people doing all the dirty job for the dirty jobs for for Pobia. and he was rewarded with a with a, that, a ministerial position that, despite the fact that he's that, as that, he, 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 he was rewarded with the minister of terrorism. Uh, yes, minister of terrorism. That that's really his job. That is what Atanji really terrorism. does. Huh? That that is what he I, does. He is good at getting people to be killed. That's what he you know. And what people don't know is. Uh, Atanji worked under Foshive. So that's where he learned all that. He was he was trained under Foshive. If you people know who Foshive is. Uh, that was the assassin, uh, the assassin of uh, the, the, uh, from the Ahijo era into the Paul Bia era. He was the one that dealt away with people who wanted who that needed to be eliminated. So Atanji worked with him and learned all those tricks from him. And that's why he is so-called minister today. Uh, I'm like, I think, 
I think all of we be aware say uh, uh, anti-hate crime law day for, for French Cameroon. Let's see what if they're going to enforce that anti-hate crime on this guy who is saying Raze Ambazonians. Let's see it. That's what I'm waiting to see. But Dr. Gwambe, how can you say that? Is that the first time they have said that? Did uh, this other guy, Obama, not say the same thing some time ago? Uh -huh. What did they do with him? The other one, yeah, Obama, Obama, he said the same thing. And this one has come and, and he said the same thing on national TV. Uh, that the is, you're calling for a the whole... The broker said in yeah. Boya, the same. In Tundong Chabani, the same. The guy who was uh -huh. in Mafe asking people from Aquaya, from, uh, 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 Aquaya to leave, the same. None of them, none of them has ever, ever been questioned. So, you know, you know it's not saying... Talking about the Gabo massacre, those, those, uh, they, when they said those who were responsible for the Gabo massacre, after denying that they were responsible... And when, when the evidence was brought out and they grudgingly accepted, do you know what has ever happened to them? Have they ever sanctioned those Nothing. people? So we can, you cannot expect anything good to come from that godforsaken place. I have said it and I will keep repeating it. If there are people in that country who want to see anything better, they better prepare for a revolution because the gang of murderers and uh, 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 it's just a, 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 a criminal gang that is in charge of that country. If you cannot get rid of them and you are hoping that some change will come through some kind of electoral process, you are wasting your time. It's not going to happen. It is not going to happen. I'm talking about this guy, this other uh, I, I don't know. If, if I had a son like this in Golan, Golan, I would disown him. Gole Gole is so shameless. He came out and was blabbing about, oh, they don't even need a federation. I said, we are asking for a federation. Are we asking for a federation? Huh? Because uh, I think he listened to this other man who came on ABS was talking about a federation. And a journalist asked him and he said, oh, we just want our uh, unitary state, uh, one and indivisible country. And I'm looking at this man. And, and, I, and I, I asked myself, when somebody like this who is supposed, another supposed educated person, and I, and I would say, just because you go to school and you memorize uh, some lines in a book and you are able to recite them or reproduce them on request by a teacher and then they give you a diploma, that does not mean you are educated. Uh, it does not make you educated until you are able to apply that knowledge in real life and be able to make sensible decisions. That's when you can say somebody is educated. But someone like Gole, I will not call him an educated person because he does not he, he does not seem capable of reading a society and where people are uh, uh, people, uh, people want to go and, and be able to understand it and accept it and allow that which is called democracy which it, to them is just it's just a, a concept without any truth in it to take place. But he says, no, there is no, there's no need for even a federation. Let's just stay with a, the, 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 the president has done everything. And I'm saying to myself, somebody like this, when somebody like this dies, what do you write on his tombstone? What, what do you write on Gole Gole's tomb? You say, here lies a traitor who betrayed his people for crumbs. That is what he deserves with a large forehead, but there's nothing inside. Nothing inside. Uh, yes, you're itching to say something there, Dr. Kwame. Mm. Mm. You, you know, Prof, Prof, Professor Gole, I don't know where, I don't know why you will leave um, where access to power, access to power, be, uh, your ability for rub so shoulders with the uh, senior political figures for, for that side, for French Cameroon, it will make a me, you should know, on top of your brain for the talk anti-intellectual thoughts then <clears throat> it's sad it really be sad i watched that clip where the guy where our brother because professor angola and our brother on a person of Amazonian descent he really talks say the the, uh, the what I, how can i call it the illegal destruction of the federation to move to a unitary state brought Amazonians and french cameroonians closer together <laughs> <laughs> and I was about to say, all the punky, all the punky way, it don't the light down. 
for different Cameroonians soldier now because we like them. And is it because we feel close to them? I mean, it's, it's, it's prop, prop. I mean, you be serious, my man. Uh, and and I wish talk. love. I wish love where they don't show it now. Which love they don't show it. Yes. Yeah. Yes, which love we don't show it. Which kind of development? See port where they begin to give with prof. They don't give him for we. Uh, they move on. They go put up for creepy. Where it be that uh -huh. extra money we put up for creepy. Uh, all kind of economic developments them. Like the one they did the, the iron ore thing there where we feel we get iron ore for our side. As a matter of fact, I think I was talking to someone that I think they were telling me about. I, I, I don't want to be in short, I know go talk to place where you did because I, maybe I'm not remembering correctly. When we get place for, for iron ore, where you don't put that iron ore facility for our side, who's how they carry and go? Who be people people their side? Prof, now which kind of love where these people they don't show you know? Or now because you, they don't show you as an individual love. So you feel say because exactly. they don't show you as an individual love. Exactly. Let me say they love all oh, we. Eh. <laughs> it talks say it talks it talks say come out tumble. I I wonder myself when be be the last time we Golan Golan go for tumble. When when be be the last time we Golan Golan we go visit the own hometown tumble. Uh, you the hide because of your 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 bad your bad intentions, bad deeds, bad decisions about your own very people. Bro, because you go that side, where are you? Road there for go that side, uh, worry. Now, now road first day for go there. I wrote there for go there. Uh, for you, that one don't mean anything. You don't mean anything. You just want for whether you go hang now, how go reach the, uh, they go bow down for you, say, hey, professor, don't come. Uh, you know, they care about the plight of the people living in that area. Which way did they go through every day? No light, no roads, bad hospitals. Uh, you could do it with a haircut like a calabash, uh, but he call himself a professor. Uh, these people are just so shameless. Mm? It's a disgrace to have someone like this uh, coming from your region who cannot do anything, cannot stand up for you, to fight for you, to see that the lives of the, 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 the youth growing up in that area can be improved. If you go for Tombe, wait till they What is in Tombe? nothing there's nothing there what is that huh you sit there and you call yourself professor that's, that's so pitiful now uh let's leave these people they are doing they are, they are people who are just fighting for their stomachs that's it they are fighting for their stomachs they don't they are not patriots. yes they are not pictures now um uh and um Officer Thomas, uh, when I know say uh, for quite some time they don't uh, Momo don't they try to get some fundraiser, uh, and um, for because since all these atrocities will be happen for Momo, uh, some reorganization if we get for take place for bring Momo, bring some order for Momo. So finally, they be sent out uh, the date of July the fourteenth as the day where they want for for hold that uh, that uh, fundraiser. Uh, Chairman Patrick, we actually get for join with here. I don't know what to happen, whether I say be late for for work or what to, uh, if it be day here, if only shed, okay, he day here now. Chairman Patrick, day here. Uh, if only shed the light on this one. So Chairman Patrick, if it be late, say you just come in at the right time, uh, I will give you some few minutes, make you, if you pick any of uh, the thing that we would like to respond to with the two we don't discuss, but I would like me to just go straight to this thing about the fundraiser, inform the public on which way it will happen before you talk about anything else. Uh, go ahead. All right. Uh, thank you so much, uh, fellow comrades. I think uh, <clears throat> when it comes to Ambazonia, we will always find time for sacrifice, for join, for tell the people, so we have, we define that like a fight we will end them. I'll be very glad to see my Friend of uh, panelists, they don't get out here. They, they educate our people. They, they give the ideas and talk to our people based on which way we think is the right thing for our people. We all understand, so this fight they be thrown on top of our skin, but their goal will be in our city. So they will take two, three weeks. They go crush we, but we don't talk. So they will fight. Even if it take we 10, 20 years, we will still fight. So um. You know, La Republic, they know how they play their games. But some of our fighters, especially for 
some of the territory, then they, miss, they will get small misdirection from some leaders and they maybe fall out of their focus and they start look at different things. Then. But since we don't decide, so we we'll go fight to the end, we we'll get to sometimes get back on the drawing board and we say, okay, which we are planned, which we want to do for six years, so me, all man, he come back, he do which we were supposed to do. This fight, our fight for win, we we'll don't get choice. And more, more people, they don't come together with other Amazonians, they don't decide, say, we go bring Momo back to where Momo be there in those glory days. Everybody understand the first popcorn will be land inside Amazonia. It be there for Momo, and from there Momo they try for help the other area. Them most area they still work really hard with the popcorn and they use them um, very well on the enemy. So on the 14, we call on every Amazonian. With the call of every son and daughter of Momo, where you did, if you didn't have for Grand Zero, you didn't have where, we want to make you come in, you give with something, you give you which way you give because this fight, it only do for point where we just need a small push for cross the finish line. Everybody will be invited on the 14th of July to join the children and sons and Momo everywhere mm -hmm. and Every other Amazonian for six to so make a response for the reorganization we don't put them together and for support the fighting force we don't be ready for carry on the mission we don't start them a long time ago. So I just want to go back to some of the things that we would talk. It be sometimes be appalling when you see some of our so-called Southern Cameroonians, where they don't go, they chop small crumbs then within the La Republic territory, they be glad, they be get up, they be talk negative about their own brothers and sisters. It's just that like, when we be grow apart, they be talk about the bomb boy picking, because I want me that boy picking, he handle and he keep my legacy, me this mm -hmm. compound in the form. But some of these people, they don't build inside La Republic, and they make sure they so they finish even their pie grave. They will cover them, plant plenty of crop. Of middle of the republic, they feed plant their farm in day. But we, as we pick cities, so our part they give for that that moral lesson. We will continue and we will win the fight. I will make sure some more grandpa their graves. They be clean every day. We we'll get to honor the people who they be bring with for this land. We we'll get to honor. Which we will do. We're not gonna take shame, we're not gonna take langer, we're not gonna take ego for go shidong for La Republic, detail and say so Amazonian is the wrong direction or Amazonia and not be a reality. So people like Ngola Ngola Elvis at Tanganji, uh, all those guys them, they be shameless. But unfortunately, whatever they do today, it will take them a long time before one of them. If and only if God make them go step foot for their own village. For even see me go see how their pie come and be there. But the good thing I say, if most of the raw rebuild for inside the republic, and they look at themselves, say they not get nothing for do for our territory. We like that. Mm -hmm. We'll be happy for let Ramona go. But when it comes to our land, we go fight, I will go fight, and we'll go fight. So I thank everybody for all the good things we have done talk so far. And like I talk, the sacrifice it did on our hand, and we'll continue to sacrifice for Amazonia. Uh, thank you, thank you, uh, Chairman Patrick, for bringing me that information about the fundraiser where it come up for Momo. And uh, we will call on Una, we will want to see Momo, Momo Mickey rise back again uh, to his glory days as Chairman Patrick. You talk uh, on the 14th of July, make Una come up, support Momo uh, for bring back uh, the, the, the kind actions where they will happen for Momo. Uh, uh, again, a, a good number of comrades from across we, the various movements within this struggle, they be in support of this initiative. Uh, and, and I saw we were supposed to work together uh, for make sure say we, we bring uh, some uh, uh, real action where it be organized and constructive towards the actual liberation for people. Nobody, nobody kind, terrible thing in a way. As some people are still right here say, 
uh, Bamenda, he, he, they in trouble. And, and, and we don't ask and say, but why some people they feel, say, even if they implement a certain action in Bamenda alone, you know, okay, Bamenda, you know, be tantamount to, you know, be equal to uh, Ambazonia. If something happened for Bamenda alone, what about Boya? What about Kumba? What about uh, Victoria? What about Manfe? What about the other areas for Ambazonia? So if it happened for Bermuda alone, of which significance that one it be? So it, it, you know, it be some just some ill thought idea where this people bring them, but talk to me they change taxi color. You know, it, it be of no significance. It be of no benefit. You know, or help with in any way. It be a very uh, stupid decision. Now put on so a very stupid idea for anybody for bring them. You know, add with any benefit because you, you change taxi color for Bermuda. If classicals they remain yellow for Kumba and other places, which you don't run, you never change anything. So uh, it, it be something where we we'll get for all condemn them and condemn those where they be involved. And as we don't already hear now, the ADF they push all these crazy ideas. Their own thing is only the one way it bring shame and hardship and suffering on with people where it not be so it's supposed to be. So all we get for rise up against them. So uh, with that said, Dr. Uh, Gwambe. Uh, uh, I'm and uh, uh, as the uh, Chairman Patrick, I, I thank you again for for coming on board. Uh, we don't be out of time, so I'll just give each of you about 30 seconds for make your final thoughts about all the things that we want to talk about. Uh, why not go first? Uh, this summer, I know say for your side, it only be late if you talk and say if you go sleep. Yes, uh, well, it don't be quite some time we and no will be for the program. Let me first of all to a salute for Dr. Maidon de Foyer for uh, the beginning of the program and, as, and also talk say, welcome, uh, Comrade Patrick. For we are people on the ground. We're sorry for which way to go, which way did go on for a patrol for Mankon and Bamenda as a whole. But this little advice for the fighters on the ground, please. The thing we will to do are now, the big counterproductive they go expose when to harm's way which will they do in democracy na self mutilation self destruction we know which way we set out for we will set out of a liberate the southern cameras for beginning for liberate ourselves as individuals and then as a united people for liberate the territory we need to be set out now for cause we are people pain. If you know the thing we do them now, it will cause our brother and sister pain. Please stop it. It will not be advisable. Stop and right away. And tell the person who tells me to say that your advice, you know, will take them again from you. Thank you. Thank you, Nusama, for coming on. And, uh, Thank the network we do very well today. <laughs> uh, yes, uh, Dr. Gwabe, uh, uh, for you now, uh, I want me to make your own final thoughts, but before we want to make them, um, again, about this thing, uh, where it happened for Bamenda, it'd be very sad, it'd be very sad for see this thing where it happened. And uh, we'll give a continue for advice these boys Say, we're going to take the example of others where they don't engage in all or in, in such activities and ask who's how it in there today. Uh, chief of which is uh, none other than Efang. Efang before say be invincible. If they commit these atrocities, they, they talk for you in the year. What you happen with you? What you happen with Efang? So if we want to go down that road, we don't know which way it wait. We don't know which way it would wait. Una. Because the thing will happen for Efan, it will happen for Una too. So this one, I don't give for belabor the point. Dr. Ngwambe? Yeah, Tama, thank you uh, um, for having us on the program today. You know, it's, it's always a pleasure to be on here to talk with you and to talk with our fellow Amazonians. I also want to appreciate um, the production team of ABS TV and I also want to appreciate my brothers, uh, Chairman. Um, uh, uh, Nisama, Chairman Ni, Nisama and Chairman Patrick. So, my fellow Amazonians, I'm going to give you all two quotes. The first one is by Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., right? And you all know him. Don't mind this thing that they've sugarcoated him, but that guy was a radical, right? 
Dr. Martin Luther King said, if a man has not discovered something that he will die for, in a sense, he is not fit to live. And finally, Sun, Sun Tzu, Sun Tzu, who wrote The Art of War, he said, victory is reserved for those who are willing to pay its price. So, you know, here with you, our brother, Samantha Mazotok, and even my brother, Tam Mazotok. And we really want to, we as the IG, and we as Amazonians who are in the diaspora, who may not feel the same level of discomfort as you all back home, but nonetheless, we are very empathetic to you all back home. We have sympathy for you all back home because we know what it is like. We are imagining what it's like. And I want to let our civilian population, our taxi drivers, our bike riders, our champions of liberty, which we know as our liberation fighters and those in the diaspora, we are all the same people. Let us not let some misguided people who represent a small percentage of the Amazonian population at home and abroad who believe in this liberation, let us not let those people who represent that small minority with their misguided ideas cause anyone at home or abroad to turn away from the just liberation fight that we are engaged in. My fellow Amazonian population back home, especially our taxi drivers and our bike riders, know that a majority of the people of Amazonia, they stand with you. They are against this counterproductive nonsense. You should know that. Know that your pain is our pain because some of us still support family back home in the diaspora. So we know, we know where it pinches. And we want you all to know that we feel your pain and that we are fighting against this nonsense that some misguided people are doing. So just please know that we stand with you, stay strong, and we are going to fix this. And that in the Amazonia that we're going to have in the future, this kind of stuff is not going to be tolerated. And those who have been responsible for committing some of this, 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 this mischief against you all back home, they are going to have a price to pay when this independence is finally achieved and our judicial system is put in place to take care of them. God bless you all. Stay strong and join us on uh, July 14th for the fundraiser for our brothers and sisters of Ambazunian descent in Momo. Take care and have a good night. Oh, thank you. Thank you again, Dr. Ngwambi, for coming on today. Uh, <clears throat> I would like to give uh, this opportunity now to uh, uh, Chairman Patrick, who came in last, uh, to make his final statements. And uh, that will be it for this show today. Uh, Chairman Patrick. Well, thank you so much, uh, Comrade Mike and uh, Dr. Ngwambi, and our comrade, uh, Sama Thomas. I just want to take this opportunity for thank every Ambazonia we really listen to it today. If you know any fighter on the ground, if you know any liberator on the ground, tell them we get a fight and forget a fight, you get to get a strategy. And the strategy get to be that which way you do will the impact the people on the ground positively. Now you go make and you go get victory. If you look at which we would don't do for the past seven years, we don't make like the public media understand it, so we are not going anywhere. We'll not be getting the money where the public get them. We'll not get the power for go borrow money for international monetary fund or World Bank. We'll not get the other kind of uh, diplomatic avenues for talk to other countries, maybe give with small, small gun them and every tool we need them. But today, we are still holding them hands down. We did give them a run for their money. Every corner inside Amazonia today, they don't put military board barrack for day. You think say so if they need to fear why did they do them? Why they need to think say that two cubes of sugar not go feel do anything? They for don't go shit on the for the air condition office, judges give orders, say okay, we're gonna do this, we're gonna do that. But they know which we will be up to. They know which wolf we do, and we don't show them. We don't show the world. Make no man or lie you. Even the international community, they will watch on the side for see which way we do. They will gauge who side the wind in the blow. The moment where they see the positive direction we will put them, they will follow we and they will give we which way we want, and they will be our supporter. Because they get to sign their own deals with we. Because every diplomatic mission, you know, they for give people their visa. 
they didn't afraid for open doors for their country, may they get opportunities to for do business on a territory for which way they like them. So make every Ambazonia no city so we define a just fight. We define now for liberate our people. We define for create a country. We define for build a country where every son and daughter of Ambazonia will love your own country. If you look today when we talk about liberators, anybody will not succeed for this world. No man of our cause should don't for a bed. Jody thinks say, oh, I want to get moto tomorrow. You know, come on, go work something. You get that moto. When moto Day for Bamenda, it won't go home. That road them bad plenty. The only thing it could happen, I say, drive, I go talk so well, I go get there. He go get into that motor, he go start that motor, I go start driver, he go get to home. But the people that enter inside motor, even though the motor get wheels, the motor fit start, they just enter, she don't inside the look motor, things he go carry them for home. You know, they ever happen. We are going to fight, we we'll get to the take action to get results for which we want and for this revolution. If we not take no action, there will be no consequence for our action, for which way it happen. If we should don't, Jody wait say, oh, Sunday we want to come, international community will show it. It no will ever come. But the moment we take the action, results, it will come out. I want to thank everybody, and I want to invite every son and daughter of Amazonia. When we say we want to raise funds for Momo, Momo and Amazonia, Momona, part of we, we are all going to raise funds for us, for us Amazonian. If you look, where will we get issues with a diplomatic mission? Momo will come in, it will give small thing. We will again, on behalf of Amazonia, and we will be now say we will give money for Momo. Whatever we do, we we'll all get up every day, we will be happy for which way we will do, we will do and for Amazonia. That is why we could do them, we could raise this money, we will use them for fight the war way they don't declare them for we and for deliberate and protect our families with the day for ground. I want to thank every Amazonian, give them an open heart more when I come on the 14th of July when I support for system make we move this liberation forward. Thanks everybody and I appreciate the time and all the panelists for here. Make we keep fighting because the toxicity so car we in all get till now God is driving fly. Thank you plenty. Thank you, Chairman Patrick. Thank you for coming in. Uh, it, it was timely uh, when you came in. Um, I want to take this moment now for again uh, make an appeal to those uh, in especially those in uh, in the city of Bamenda or Mezam as a whole. We know there's some unfortunate things that happen for Bamenda right now. And it comes from people where they don't get a track record of doing the wrong things for this struggle. It be they say they be bent on doing which way it please the enemy instead. This thing where some people don't wake up say me they change taxi color. This interim government it be vehemently against that decision. This interim government it not be in favor of that decision at all because that decision it never bring any benefit to this struggle. On the contrary. A return with people against the struggle. And now, why that way when I don't see I'm saying Light of Public, in any camp for attack these boys for drive them out because the thing where these boys they do, it they benefit them. Maybe when I just see them, nothing that way, Light of Public, it like them. So, with the back for this, with the civilian population, make when I understand this game where it go on between the ADF and the enemy, they understand exactly which way they did one. But if we play into their hands by completely turning against all other restoration fighters, that means they will again fall for their trap. Now, they exactly the trap that way they want to move, fall inside. For turn the people against the struggle. If we turn against the struggle, we will do not exactly what the way they want them. So I want to make we be wise for understand the game where it go on here. The thing where the ADF the Duam on behalf of La Republic now for make and say many people they turn against the struggle so that means the struggle die. Or explain to me why people they go choose for go burn taxi, burn other private people their properties, where police station did it, they never burn them. Gendarme did it, they never burn them. 
The money where they use them, that's still a lot of big money. They never change that money. Colonial officers in day to day, they never attack anyone. They deal them, governor them, mayor them. They decide circulate. You never hear say the ADF you go attack any of these people. But now we civilian population, where they molest them every day because they do nothing where it please that really come out. I want to make we understand them. So that make we not fall into the trap of turning against the good fighters who will get them because of the thing where the, the, the gang where uh, I have a children put them for the, they did, could they commit havoc, they did one. So make we be wise and we'll continue for the expose this criminality. And now I tell you when I say, after every war, uh, war tribunal, it be where it will try those where they be engaged in criminal activities. And the war, it will watch, and at least it will be computed. Where, when this war, it don't end, some people, them, they could there for deep trouble. It will happen for every conflict for this war. It will happen, it, 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 the Sudan war, people, they be there in trouble. For the Rwandan war, uh, after the end, the Eritrean war, People in the way they be commit acts of genocide, criminal acts during that war, they arrest them, go for the hate, go try them, sentence them. Now, exactly thing that way it will happen for this own war. Someone know why mind this thing where the people they go up. There will be a consequence for everything that each person is doing. And some names they don't be prominent where the international community it will watch up already. When the time it reach, these people will face uh, the consequences of their actions. So, uh, fellow Ambazonians. I want for to say ABS, it be back and then it be live. Nothing, ABS never be closed down as some distractors be try for spreading out there. It never be closed down. We just be away uh, uh, for some time. We don't be back. And we will get our regular programs as, as usual. And uh, the struggle is still there on. Make, make we no, we no fear. The struggle is there on and we'll continue for the push on until Ambassador it be free. With that said, I thank you for watching. May you take good care of yourselves, take care of each other. And with that one, I will talk say the war zone, it don't be out for today. Now, good night.